Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf at the Minnetonka Tour Van location. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here. Uh, Thomas, uh, actually a professional golfer, has competed in three events this year and won three events this year. Uh, so we thought we'd go through what is in his bag, um, kind of from driver down to putter, and see what sticks he's using and what's working for him, obviously. Um, I think he's got a whole new set this year, correct? Yep, just whole recently got new clubs, yep. Perfect, so I think we'll start with, you know, what are you using off the tee, smashing 300 yards down the middle every time? <laughs> what do you got? Yep, so this year I have currently in the bag the Titleist TS3 driver. We've done a lot of testing mm -hmm. with drivers over the last kind of few months. And this one essentially did give me the most ball speed that I could get. Yep. Um, now, it's an interesting one because when I was testing it, I did miss it more to the right. So what I did is I did put the club in a little bit more of an upright setting and the weight more in the heel to make it more kind of draw bias sure. to kind of counteract the fact that I had a hard time mm -hmm. turning it over a little bit. I essentially want to hit my driver as far and straight as I possibly can. Yeah. So I want confidence to stand up over the tee, mm -hmm. know that I can kind of launch it high, hit up on it, hit as far sure. as I can. So I have this down thing down at eight and a half degrees in okay. an upright setting, draw bias. So essentially I'm just trying to hit up on it, hit it, far as I can, try and get yep. as much ball speed and distance as I possibly sure. can. What so. kind of shaft you got in there? Still right got my uh, Graphite Design Tour AD BB6X. And you've been playing that one in previous? I've been playing this probably okay. for about three or four years now. Okay. Yep, love it, didn't change that out at all. Essentially have that at 45 and mm -hmm. a half inches, so pretty pretty standard length mm -hmm. right there. So that's what I am playing for the driver. Right, so far there, it's been pretty good. Yeah, from there then down to your fairy woods here. Yep, so from there, I am playing G410 LS Tech 3 wood. Okay. So I have this thing set at four, this 14 and a half degree head. I have mm -hmm. this at 14 and a half degrees. But what I have done is I have put it in the flat setting. Okay. So since the idea behind putting it in the flat setting, for me, 3 wood hybrid, I, have, I really do hook it, all, hook it a lot. Um, so I'm trying to limit that right to left curve. Okay. A lot of professional golfers, they hate that right to left yeah. shot. I don't mind it, but I don't want it to be going crazy left on me. So I put it in a more flat setting, so I just go after it, essentially not worry about it going left sure. as far. Yep. So it's still hit just kind of flat setting. And I gave the uh, Tor AD Graphite Design VR7X shaft a goal this year. Essentially, it's just 10 grams heavier than my driver shaft. Typically, that's kind of the trend you kind of go, if I'm playing 6X, mm -hmm. I'm playing kind of like a, a 7X with the fairy wood. So okay. this is sure. uh, what I've been playing with the fairy wood. It is, for a lower spinning club, so forgiving. Really? It's so forgiving, yep. So I played the G400 very wood last year. Um, so I snuck another one in there this year. So Perfect. That's what I'm playing for the fairy wood. Also have another ping club in the bag for my hybrid. G410, kind of the same trend. Have it in flat setting. So this is my okay. free hybrid. I kind of play around a little bit whether I play a hybrid or a driving iron or okay. a three iron kind of in my bag. I have maybe yeah. 16 or 17 different clubs really to choose from. This is the set that I make up that I've had for the last three events that I've played in. Sure. So, so far I've had a lot so of success. Gonna, so I haven't yeah, really changed, stick to with changed it? it up too much. <laughs> really depends on the golf course I'm playing. Yeah. So if there's okay. a golf course, I like having four wages back in my bag. So essentially that limits me to playing a hybrid or driving iron or okay. four iron, kind of switch those out a little bit. Yep. Um, so three hybrid. G410, got the Evenflow 6.5X 85 gram hybrid shaft. Okay. So Evenflow black shaft, um, like I said, flat, don't go left. Do you notice the same <laughs> forgiveness with this, this hybrid as the, your three wood, the same you know, G410, yeah. same yeah. type of thing? Yeah, yep. so we we'll definitely notice with the ping G line forgiveness I get. So yep. it, and it just flies so straight. Yep. And I, I mean, for these two clubs for me, being very clubs that I've really had a, had a hard time trying to find that I really like, probably the two clubs that in my bag that, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, don't like to hit it left, don't like to hook it way left essentially. So yeah, put yeah. Been, ability to put the ping clubs in a flat setting has really, really helped me. So mm -hmm. that's what I've kind of done with my woods. Sure. Um, irons, this year I am playing the Callaway Apex Pro. Had a chance and those to are the new ones for 2019. 2019, okay. yep. So they kind of have the cup face. Um, they do go a little bit further. Uh, I probably have picked up about half a club to about a club in distance. Okay. Um, I'm okay with that. I uh, still hit the ball fairly high. They spin a little bit lower than I, that I have in the past. Um, but I've picked up quite a bit of distance. I can essentially now tighten the gap with my 
iron, so now my four iron hybrid's a lot closer oh, gap-wise. Sure. Yeah. So I don't really need to play that driver mm -hmm. iron as much. So this club still can yeah. get out if I need to, roll out to 250 or 260. So yeah. that's I can chase it down the fairway if I need to. That's a tricky distance for a lot of golfers sometimes yep. to figure out, you know, between the four iron and hybrid, how they can figure that out. And it looks like your solution was just to get a little bit more distance with the iron and, Correct. Yep. and narrow that gap. So. Um, I also really wanted to get four wedges back in my bag too. So the fact that now I have a little bit more distance apart okay. with, with all my clubs, now I could get those four wedges in and essentially yeah. kind of widen the gap in a, gapping a little bit. Sure. So playing the Callaway Apex Pro four through pitching wedge. Okay. Um, Project X, went back to Project X load LZ 6.5. Last year I played a different shaft, played a little lighter shaft, didn't like it. I uh, just wanted to go back to something just a little bit heavier. So this is what I played the year before. So far okay. I really kind of like just a little bit, a little bit heavier, stiffer shaft. Um, not as heavy as I possibly could go, but you know, just feel like I had yep. a little bit of control on the club face. So that's what I kind of mm -hmm. did with, with my irons. Um, then I play, a, so I, my pitching wedge is a 45 degrees, that's standard with the Callaway Apex Pro. Yeah. I play the SM7s, um, a 50 degree, um, then I also 54M grind. Yep. I actually have this bent to 55 degrees. Um, okay. My 60 degree is 60, so yeah. you'll notice oh, okay. five degree gap so between 45, each 50, club. 55, okay. I'm too much of a perfectionist. Yeah. So well, I, I mean, <laughs> I think the you know wedge gapping is important. I think a lot of people don't realize that how much it can help having consistent differences in between your wedges. Yep. Um, and clearly, you've taken advantage of that by bending one, and because they you're not going to find a 50 feet or excuse me a 55 degree wedge uh, on the shelf. You know, it, so it's hard to find. Yeah. yeah. So if yep. you you can bend it and. So just kind of bend that a degree weaker yes. so I can have that five degree gap with that. With that. Um, so I you know, played the SM7, 50 F grind, that, that's the only option. I yep. have a little more bounce on this club. Um, and then 54 M grind. So this is my kind of club that I like to open and close the face with a little okay. bit. My two, my 55 and 60 degree, those two I like to kind of play around with yeah. a little bit. So that's why I went with the M grind designed by you know, the Volki essentially his favorite wedge that it, you know, essentially allows you to open and close club face. Mm -hmm. so that's what I went with, with those two there. Um, also interesting note, I also took a step down with my shaft. So typically, you know, either you can go the same shaft all the way through or play something with a little bit less wax. So I play the Dynamic Gold S400. So it's technically an S shaft, okay. still fairly heavy. Just wanted, you know, to maybe play something just a little bit lighter because Wedges, I don't go after as hard anyway, so they're more kind sure, of a yardage sure. yeah. club right there. So that makes sense. what I did with those two, um, like I said, I kind of play around a little bit with my wedges. Um, I also have a SM7 60 degree. Yeah. I also have a Callaway PM grind. Okay. So now that's got I the wider face, a lot more yep. surface area to look at. It's kind of been received differently among players that take the wedge. Some just don't like looking at it. Yeah. How did you? I mean, obviously you got it in the bag now. But. Um, yeah, it was an interesting one. I Honestly, I didn't think I would put it in the bag, but I literally just took it out and had some wedge shots with that and, and the SM7. Yeah. I was like, wow, this thing is yeah. actually really incredibly forgiving. Yeah. Easy to get that ball up in the air, hit flop shots, go slide my club face right under right. it. Definitely and designed to, to open yeah. the face and kind of be able to launch it in the air. Correct. Like that. It's yeah. very easy to hit out of the sand. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, obviously... Phil's favorite club that yeah. he, he loves oh, yeah. to kind of open, open flop shots with. So I, I figured I'd kind of give it a go. Yeah, it looks a, looks a little different, a little crazy kind of look to it. Yeah. The entire face, you know, obviously has grooves. Yeah. So it's kind of not nice to know that there's a little bit more forgiveness there. Um, so this was a unique one there for me. One of the uni unique ones. Yeah. The other club, which is actually kind of unique, was my putter. Your putter? Yep. I, uh, what are you using on the greens? I went to arm lock this year. Really? Yep. So in kind of beginning of March, I was just kind of playing around the putting green real quick, r briefly, on a slow afternoon. I was like, oh, let's just try kind of that arm lock. Yeah. Just kind of locked it in there right there. Couldn't miss. Couldn't miss. Couldn't miss. So you got the, is that the, is it studio stock? This is the Bedernardi. Yep. So this is the Bedernardi studio stock 28 arm lock design. I have cut it down just a little bit shorter than the standard 40 inches that comes. I put it to okay. 39. Okay. Just because I put cross-handed arm lock. Okay. Now the reason why, essentially, I'm worried about you know USJ doesn't allow you to go past mm -hmm. this point here. Otherwise, the putter is essentially illegal. 
So for me, I just cut it down just a little bit shorter so I didn't want to go past oh, there. Oh, I see. Okay. So because I cross-handed right here, I'm locked in. Um, and then just kind of from there, I just kind yeah. of rock, rock, rock the shoulders. Yeah. I have think I've missed one putt inside maybe eight feet so far this in, 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 in all my events. And that wow. one was just the greens were a little bit rough. But otherwise, you know, I have never putted so well really? ever. It just feels a lot easier to putt mm -hmm. with. So that's kind of a, the, probably the, the big change that I have made. Um, yeah. And then uh, I guess lastly, what golf ball are you playing? I know uh, that's a very key and maybe sometimes overlooked part of yep. club fitting. So I'm playing the Callaway Chrome Soft X, Phil Mickelson. He's been playing this triple track line on mm -hmm. his ball for a while. Just last month, Callaway made it public that we're going to go Chrome Soft X and put this triple track line on, on the ball as well. Mm -hmm. So and I was, I was kind of, I was between a couple of different golf balls to, to, to play. I love the fact that it has this yeah. alignment like already alignment. printed on there. That with the unlock putter, I just feel like I'm lined up yeah. and I can't miss. It's really. honestly just so easy to get myself mm -hmm. lined up. That's some great insight from the Thomas Campbell, uh, winner of three professional events already in 2019. There you have it, the what's in the bag, all of the equipment that is Thomas Campbell approved. Um, if you need any of these clubs are interesting or of interest to you, uh, I would recommend going into a Second Swing store, going online to secondswing.com, or calling Second Swing, 612-216-4152, uh, uh, and speak with a phone fitter as well. Uh, get all the information you need and get started on getting your own set of any of these clubs. Um,